Oh crap, I have to fight one of these people right off the start. Ugh. Hey, I'm here. It is late. It is 1.10 a.m. on uh, Wednesday, October 4th. I was not here last night. Uh, I was out with a friend who was uh, stopping by in town on their way back from a concert. We hung out. Uh, I slept most of today. I was exhausted. But I'm finally almost caught up on stuff, so that's good. I was kind of debating like whether or not I should actually stream tonight, but uh, I'm finally here ready to go, and I figured why not. If I, if I have to push this towards four to get almost three hours, I will. I just wanted to do this tonight so I can have time, because I might end up skipping tomorrow or Thursday in addition to Friday and Saturday. So, we'll see. But, uh, just as a quick recap, we are looking for the three loyal trio, or whatever they're called. Lo loyal three. Hey, yeah, up goofed. Hey, yeah, no, uh, hey, yeah. Yeah, d deadpan face, that's me. We've explored almost all the map at this point. We only need to explore... This raised area up here, this area over here, and then the woods. And I'm pretty sure the woods are post-game for this for this DLC. Or specifically, they're tied to that other quest. So that will be later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fight the trainer here, then I'm going to start going after the three. Uh, the three. <laughs> the three. I'm Hasebe of the Kitakami Ogre Clan. I control the rain and wash away my foes. So yeah, it's an hour later than I normally start. Uh, again, I'm just kind of... Holly Toad. I'm just kind of just kind of chilling today. I took the day off work, and it's good because uh, Monday was easily one of the worst days of work I've had in a while. And uh, not super happy about that. In fact, I'm... I'm Heavily considering maybe calling out tomorrow, too, and just not going back in. Because I just don't know if I have it in me. But I don't know. Probably not. Pain, right. You, you did the two... You had to get your tooth uh, worked on. I'm sorry to hear that. It, that sounds painful. I mean, I should know. I had all, all my wisdom teeth removed a year ago. Yeah, you're just in time. I just started. Hey, Ephraim. Oh, I don't have my monitor on. Whoops, I knew I forgot something. Oh, and I forgot the PN- I forgot the PNG tuber! Eh, whatever. It's- it's late. We'll keep it off for tonight. BN5 chip collection is almost 100% done. Nice. Remember, clear smog is not a good move. I should have to go. I should go back and finish two. I've I've finished BM one and BM two almost completely. So it's not like I've done nothing in the collection. I just haven't. I just like kind of did that all like you know on my own. Obviously, I'm not streaming it since I've already streamed all six games at this point. When farming bug frags, I get 75k zenny on the side. I wish this, the collection had uh, things to make farming a bit easier. Like, they have double damage for your buster, but they couldn't put, like, turn off encounters or turn on or double zenny to gain or something like that. Uh, Zap Cannon should have 100% accuracy since it's, um. Since the rain's going on. But, uh, we're probably not gonna get to do it. No. If I'm on the PC release, it's the first thing I'm doing. More bug frag rewards, better prices, yeah. There's really just no reason to, like, have to farm as hard as you do in those games. Especially when they've had years to rebalance all that and they just chose not to. Okay, that's speed and attack up, right? Yeah. Yeah, 
Damn it. It's always the wrong terror type. I haven't terrestrialized once this entire uh No, that's not true. I did I did last stream at some point. Oh, Basque Legion's here. Yep. I figured that last time because I got the white striped Basculin. Uh, that's a ghost type, so Sucker Punch should be good on it. Actually, I'll just use Ruination because it's going to do double half damage anyway. There we go. Probably the most damage I'm going to get to do to it. Yeah, it's been a weird couple days. Work Monday was very bad. I was in an extremely bad place from work on Monday, and I wasn't happy. And I was just thankful because uh, I got to, uh, you know, I got to spend time with someone outside the stream. Uh, we, you know, we hung out. We, uh, we had pizza, just talked and and watched stuff. It was pretty fun. And then uh, this morning I came home, and uh, yeah. Came home, just caught up. I uh, got caught up on videos, and I, I slept. I was exhausted. I I actually slept a decent amount last night, and I was still exhausted today. I don't know why my body just refuses to feel rested anymore. It sucks. So you've defeated a trainer of the Kitakami Ogre Clan. I gave the battle everything that I had in me. I have no regrets. Okay, but can you help me out here? I want to fight this thing. Okay, so we know Basque Legion's here. How do I evolve the White Striped Basculin into it? I can't remember. A Gumi. White Stripe Basket evolves into Basket Legion when leveled up after losing at least 294 HP from recoil damage without fainting. Right. Okay, that's going to be a bit of work. Okay. <laughs> Can't remember the buttons. My brain's not working right. Alright. Let's recover, and then uh, we'll go after those nine little assholes. Looks cool, though, yeah. Well, I liked riding it in Legends. It was such a fun way to ride on the water. Also been very dehydrated this today. I don't know why. I went to Taco Bell for lunch with my brother, and uh, instead of my usual Baja Blast, I opted to actually get the Gatorade, the G2, from the uh, vending machine, not the the soda machine. Because I was like, ah, I'm, I'm I must be I must be like dried out somehow. Yeah, no, I drank plenty of water today. Trust me. I don't feel bad now, but today in general, I just felt really, really, like, dried out. Anyway. That's how you ended up in the hospital? When was this? Ages ago. Oh, all right. Yeah, no, no, I know. Trust me, I've been dehydrated before. It's not fun. Wow, that thing's a lot bigger than it looked. Ah, it's the cocky-looking one. That huge head must mean this monkey Dory. Hey, I may be wrong about this, but has it gotten bigger than the last one we last saw? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, wasn't it only, like, up to my chest before? That big ass needle. Oh, it's for the IV fluid? Yeah. Time for us to put this one in its place, Michael. They learn a Dynamax, something like that. 
I've been told that the, the chain that they have on them does something to them. Oh, these are double battles, okay. The Titanic Monkey... D oh, these are like Titan battles, okay. Guess they, they, they figured out a way to work that into the story. Wonder if it'll all go red in the face if we give it a good trouncing. Time to find out. Hmm. Bouncing out my uh, sound levels here a bit. Oh, uh, it's outspeeding us, okay. Toxic. Uh, these might actually be difficult. Yes, excellent move. Keep up the pressure. Where's the Mewtwo when you need him? I never caught the Mewtwo in this game. Vina drank down all the matcha that Sinistee made. Sinistee made, rather. Someone's got a weakness. We can just keep using that move till it faints, then. Yeah, we can't nuke him. So yeah, uh, been hearing more opinions about the Sonic Frontiers, uh, final update, and, uh, it's not good. The more I hear about this update, the less I want to actually play it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm rather, I'm rather, uh, rather miffed about that. I'll still do it at some point, but it's definitely not, uh, not gonna be great. I'm probably gonna crank the, di the difficulty down to easy. Because the whole, like, there's a whole system they introduce that has, like, really bad timing on hard mode. Excuse me. I might turn down to normal, but we'll see. I I've been told that I should have no, uh, no, uh... Oh, shit. Also, I'm sorry, I just burped up leftover Taco Bell. Yeah, the characters don't control well. Apparently, apparently that's the biggest issue. The characters don't control well. There's a there there's a, a, a thing that you have to do that's incredibly difficult, even maxed out. It's it's just not fun, apparently. Like it's just there's just a lot of balls dropped during it. And yes, that's also got announced tonight. So, uh, Nintendo being Nintendo, uh, they just announced they're dropping online support for 3DS and Wii U. Um, the only program that they have confirmed will stay up is Pokemon Bank. However, they did not guarantee that it will be up forever. It'll just be up past uh, when the when the thing when the service runs out, and that's going to be sometime next year.
Yeah, every time. Yeah, it sucks. I, I just it's it blows. It it blows. And here's the thing: the Wii, the Wii, and the DS. It made sense because they used the Wii and DS games used middleware by Game Fly, I believe. I can't remember what's what service it was, but it's a it was a service that would like have like third party server hosting for games. Nintendo utilized that, and then the company went out of business. So Nintendo wasn't able to keep the servers up for those games. Makes sense, because the only way to change that would be to redistribute the games with completely different online programming in it. So it made sense that that generation had to go. 3DS and Wii U ran off of Nintendo's own servers. So the fact that they're ditching it uh, just means that they're doing it as a cost-cutting measure for themselves. And uh, it's bullshit. It's You know it's bullshit. So all that stuff's going away. Again, the only one that confirmed will still be up after the shutdown next year is Pokemon Bank. So you don't have to worry about that for now. That being said, by this point, Pokemon Bank is free. You should have all your stuff moved over. Even if you don't want it. Well, then again, Pokemon Home. Like, see, this is the problem. Like, You're going to have to switch services every few years with this. And I just don't want to deal with it. Anyway. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. Hey, look, it dropped a mask. We did it. We got the first mask back. Wellspring mask retrieved. Aw, she looks so happy. Let's go to kill some possible Pokemon combos. I mean, well, here's the thing, though. Yes, but no, because remember, for competitive, you have to breed a, a new po team every year. You have to have the Pokemon have the mark from the game that they're in. That's kind of the rule with VGC, so that's why you never see the same teams year after year. Because Pokemon get banned as they're not shown in newer games. Clearly store Pokemon in the USB, but then those pesky cheaters will be able to do so what they please with the thing they bought. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it sure is happy. Also, Pokemon Home's an excuse to get 15 bucks out of everyone for a year, which I'm not... I'm not... I have it. I'm not saying I agree with it, but I have it. Pokemon Bank, on the other hand, like, it was five bucks a year. I'm like, oh, that's fine. I'm fine with paying five bucks a year to support Pokemon, and then, you know, they made Sword and Shield in this game, and it's clear that they're not putting their energy into making the games run well, so... Thanks for taking my money, I guess. I don't know. You know what, felt this, I felt this way at the Crystal Pool, too. But we make a good team, don't we? Two masks left. Let's take the rest of the loyal, rest of the loyal three down. Ugh. I called Bank a scam back in the day. Eh, I don't know. I didn't mind it. I didn't mind that it was only, because it was only five bucks. Five bucks a, for a year of service. I felt that was completely manageable. Asking 15 a year for a service that does honestly does less... Well, I mean, it could hold more, but I don't know. I just don't like the idea of Pokemon as a live service. Like, it just kind of feels weird to me. Like, if... I don't know. Muffin sacrifice. Yeah, I, what? I don't know. Oh, that's nice. I think, um... I don't know. I don't know. All I do know is, uh... We're gonna be seeing a lackluster Gen 5 remake very soon, I think. Very, very, very not optimistic about what, what's what been rumored over there. Oh, you called it back in the price of muffin. I said a price of coffee, which I guess was kind of accurate. All right, so this is again, this is just a this is just a rumor, but it's being reported. It's being reported that 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 some, some, you know, reputable leakers, and again, this, you know, take all that with a grain of salt. They're referring to an upcoming pro Pokemon project as a faithful remake, which is the same phrase they used before Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl got announced. So, we might be looking at, like, 
we, we might be looking at a lackluster Gen 5 remake, which would be very upsetting. Because, honestly, Gen 5 was one of the best generations of Pokemon, let's be honest. Yeah, lots of salt. I'm not going to be happy about it. Can I fly there? No, you can't. My problem with Gen... See, my problem with, with all the... the, the the remakes is that they've gotten worse over time. It was a different story. Like, like Fire Red to Heart, Heart Gold. That's, that was a great upgrade. But then you had Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, where it was like, okay, it's good, it has a lot to do, but like, why did they use the version that doesn't have the Battle Frontier? It feels like... T it felt like it was like two steps forward and then like one step backwards in that case. And then you have Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl... Which not only has none of the platinum upgrades, but also has no upgrades in general outside of one fairy type move being added to the game. So it's like that was like several steps back. And if the Unova remakes are the same, it's like then what, what's the point? Also, and, and again, this is just me saying this, but the Unova games in general were like kind of the the hard hitters in terms of like setting and story. Definitely one of the more engaging Pokemon stories, even though it wasn't the most engaging at this point, but... And it had a sequel, a direct sequel to it, too, so it's just kind of like, I don't want them to do a black and white remake, and then, you know, black 2 and white 2 just don't exist after that. We don't see those. And that doesn't mean I want them to remake both games. I want them to remake the whole, the whole thing in, in one game, please. <laughs> I know they won't do that. Just make it with the Arceus engine and make it be make everything better. Yeah. Honestly, like, that's, that's, that is absolutely what I would lean into. Make a game that's more accustomed to the Arceus engine. Even if it doesn't have as much real-time stuff and trainer damage stuff as, as Arceus did. Just embrace. Oh, I thought it was in the cave. It's just kind of floating there. Uh, if it's flying in dark, then it should be good to take it out with fighting. Yeah, fix this. No more of this, like, choppy frame rate in the distance thing. I know Kirby and the Forgotten Land did that, but there's no reason why that Pokemon at that distance was doing that kind of movement. I mean, look, I'm not going to claim to know anything about game design. That is, uh, not a normal Graveler. Is it? Oh, wait, maybe it is. Thought that was the, uh, Alolan Graveler for a minute. Cause the Alolan Graveler did show up in this game, right? That's a good game. Marcus was that feeling I said seeing you go through the beginning. I haven't had that feeling in a long time. It felt different. It really felt different. Like play, like getting used to playing it was it was a completely different experience. Yeah, it's the only form of that that I have. Maybe I don't have. Maybe I don't have the uh, Alolan. I thought I saw the Alolan form at some point. What? Oh, I was like, what happened? Why are you? Why are you dead? Hearing the Eternal Forest music. Yeah. Oh. Well. Hold on. Well. Okay. I'm not gonna say anything because I've been told that the <laughs> I've been told that there are some Legends Arceus remixes in this. Uh, in this DLC. When you when we do that photography quest later. Since it apparent since it apparently revolves around Legends Arceus.
There's the one that flies. Pheasantipity. This one's gotten bigger too, huh? Time to bring this one down, Michael. enemies, but its face is so pretty. Does it remind you of me a little? Ow. Okay, so Toxic Chain, I guess that means if it makes any damage on you, you're just automatically toxic. Okay, that wasn't that good. Hey, I'm gonna be the one who deals more damage. You got that? Banned. <laughs> I gotta be honest, pretty clever of the game to have me get, have me, have the, uh, the first move always be Thunder Wave. So we just have, always have that chance of paralysis. Harmine did zero damage. Yeah, but she paralyzed it, which is very helpful. Huh? Oh! That's cool. I got a buff from, uh... All right, Aura Wheel, I think, changes its type depending on, uh, what mode more Pekko's in. No fighting isn't good. Water and fl flying are just decent. Maybe we could just try going for lightning and see if that does anything. I went for the gamble move, but whatever. Oh, that didn't even do critical, uh, super effective damage. Now let's try Exciser, or Excisor. <laughs> that did nothing. Okay. Alright, well, crunch it is. Let's see. Ow. Not very effective. Oh, man. What, types, what type is this thing? We'll just go for the gamble move again.
didn't pay off. Yeah, see, now you know why Sinister's special move is, uh, or special ability is hospitality, because it shows up in a bunch of double battles. this thing weak to? Let's now drink the mystery juice. Hey, Ryoko. How you doing? Okay, wow. The zap cannon missed all of them. Stuff full of a much larger than expected Stromboli. Mmm, delish. Poison tea. Try Psychic or Ground? Yeah. It's gonna be my next choice. Steel, Psychic, Ground. It doesn't matter. I'm going to beat it anyway. Let's see what fire does. Decent, but also not a weakness still. Super fighting robot. <laughs> So the last two days with your BFF, played some tennis and now work tomorrow. Yeah, I had fun. Uh, today was a day of rest for me. I had off work. I took off work, which is good because, again, as I said earlier, Monday was like one of the worst days I've ever worked there. And uh, if tomorrow ends up being shit, I might end up calling out again, completely to be honest. Well, I didn't call out. I took today off because uh, I did stuff last night with a friend. There we go. Finally found a weakness. And we've already beaten it, so it doesn't matter now. You never stood a chance. It's weak to steal Psychic and Ground. Oh, so, uh... What's his name? Uh, Goldengo would have been a great choice. Hey, look, it dropped a mask, too, just like the last one. It makes two masks back where they belong. Heart Flame. We did it, Ogre Pond. No opponent's gonna give us any trouble as long as we're a team. It's so cute. Yeah, it is. It's, she is very cute. Kiki really should have come with us. Well, only one more mask remaining. Let's make this loyal one a loyal nun. God, I wish there was a quicker way to scroll to these. Poison Psychic. Oh, they're poison. They're all poison because of the toxic chain. Okay. Poison Fairy. That would be... That's a good Pokemon to have on a bird team because there's no flying type to be seen in there. Also, Poison and Fairy. Not a very common combination. Poison Psychic. So I'm guessing uh, the final one's Poison Fighting. Getting a plush of Ogre Pond if it happens. I would imagine it'll happen. Also, why is 200... Oh, that's weird. Ogre Pond's entry wasn't here before, but I guess because I've technically seen it, it counts now. Okay, so...
Yeah, I was thinking about coming here, like, I was thinking about streaming, like, way earlier today, but at the same time, I was like, I'm just too sleepy. I don't know why I can't feel rested anymore. It just, it's just weird. Like, I tried sleep, like, I slept in a nice, comfortable bed last night. I got a decent amount of sleep. I came home and I napped, and it still wasn't enough. I was gonna say, what is that? It's a mudbray. That's what it's called, right? What's the up, uh, the evolved form? Mudsdale. That's it. Could be my diet. I mean, I'm also just used to sleeping less now, so maybe my body just doesn't want to sleep more. And it's used to feeling tired all day, but I don't know. That's shiny timber? No. It is! God damn it. Okay. That was one of those ones where I'm just like, kind of like, is it? It couldn't be. Well, cool. I get to put a star emoji on this on this part too. I just I was like, is that timber like slightly more yellow than normal? Cool. Well, there's another one. It's like one per stream now. I do need to get Conkledur in this uh, in this Pokedex, but I would have to trade to make that happen, so... This time we said it might be a shiny new tab back in. <laughs> shiny luck is real. I mean, to be fair, okay, to be fair, I do have the shiny charm already, so I'm finding more shinies regardless, but that still was, a uh, that still was rather ridiculous. Charger bug? No, thank you. So this thing is probably poison and fighting, which means psychic is probably going to be good against it. Yeah, if you want to see ugly, uh, look at this thing's shiny palette. It's it's literally the unpleasant gradient meme. If you've ever seen that one, it's 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 the exact same colors. Oh, here's the buff one, Okie Dogie, with all its mean muscles. How's it they've all gotten bigger like this though? Give me a break. Come on, Michael. It's time to cut this Pokemon down to size. The next thing is a leash, you just realized, yeah. I don't know the I don't know the details yet, and I think it comes up after we finish this, but apparently those chains are the reasons they're so powerful. That scarf's way too stylish for the likes of you. I'm gonna teach you to sit the hard way. What happened to you there? Did you see your arm just like glitched forward? Yeah, there we go. That's damage. Oh, we found its weakness. Nice analysis there, my second in command. I want to finish off this meeting myself. Let your leader have the last attack, okay? This is not any show. Oh, because she said it's going to make him sit. Yeah.
All right, let's expand. Let's continue to expand. This one's going down way quicker than the other two. That's, I think that's the funniest part. Not needed. We're good. Like the ogre in its masks, we help bring out each other's full power. And there it is. We got the last mask. Congratulations, Ogre Pond, and good work, Michael. We got all the masks. Cornerstone mask retrieved. Thank goodness, it all worked out. Right, Ogre Pond? Michael, sis. Huh? Kiki, what's up? Well, uh, I, I wanted to ask a favor. I wanted you to come to the village and bring the ogre with you. Sorry, right, but the villagers... You gotta trust me. It'll be okay. I promise. That's all I wanted to ask. Just come. I wonder what's gotten into him. Everyone in the village thinks Ogre Pond's a menace, right? I hope he knows what he's doing. But he did have a confident look in his eyes. Let's trust Kiki and head to the village. If things go south, I'll use my natural charm to smooth things over. There's so many rare bones on the ground in this area, and they're worth 2,500 each, so it's worth just picking up a bunch of them. Make a nice chunk of change. There's a spot to get Conkledur anywhere. That was one of the best parts about uh, Sword and Shield's wild area. They just put, like, trade evolution Pokemon. And, like, Pokemon you needed to evolve a certain way. They just had them in the overworld at, at points. Sometimes you had to go on a specific day, but they were there. Okay. 
Huh. Oh. <laughs> ah. Ah. Yes, you really don't want to be here, do you? Just don't worry, it'll be fine. Kiki, what's all this about, really? I know you must be scared, Ogre Palm, but I did my best. So just trust me and come with me, okay? So that's the ogre, Ogre Pawn. It's actually real? Let's trust Kieran. So this is the ogre of Oni Mountain. This is the true face of Ogre Pawn, who we've so wrong sorely wronged. For far too long, we've told tales casting you as the villain here in Kitakami. We all owe you a great apology. Hey, what's going on? Why the sudden about face? Kieran's been running around the whole village, telling the truth, everyone the true story of what had happened. I was worried he'd stir up a lot of resentment, so I told him to stop, but... We're so sorry, dear Ogre. Ogre Pond's so cute. Seems that I was wrong to worry so much. Who knew Kiki had it in him? Especially since he hates you talking to people, usually. From now on, you can come to the village whenever you want. And you don't need to hide your face when you do. Yeah. The three masks we kept at Kitakami Hall rightfully belong to you all along. If you manage to get them back from those three villains, fee please, feel free please feel welcome to keep them. We got the masks back, and we managed to clear Ogre Pond's name. Now that's what I call a happy ending. One last thing to do. Let's escort Ogre Pond back to its home. I'm not too happy about that. Actually, no, I'll keep him. He's level 80, lowest leveled. Almost a two millionaire. They really just throw money at you in this game. Just like uh, Clyde threw 700,000 gil at me at my last FF14 stream. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I didn't know what Pokemon that was. Here we go, get some KFC. <laughs> Throws money, yeah. Again, I like how there's a separate texture when it's raining to just show that we're all wet. <laughs> well, here we are. And here we I 
had to, sorry. It's a bit lonely out here, but I guess this place must mean a lot to Ogre Pond. Bye bye, o take care, okay, Ogre Pond? I'm wet. Hey, you know what? I think Ogre Pond might want to go with you, Michael. Aw, oh, Kieran, you can see him, like, getting pissy in the background there. He's really not happy about this. Hey, hold up! If it's not gonna stay here, then I... I wanna... I want Ogre Pond to come with me! Ogre Pond's design kind of reminds you of one of Faust's galaxy girls. Hmm. Kiki. I know I'm being real selfish, but Michael, please... Let me battle you. I want to see which one of us should get to keep Ogre Pond with them. Pretty sure Ogre Pond's made her decision. Hey, Kiki. I know you really love Ogre Pond. I really honestly understand. But you have to think about Ogre Pond's feelings too. Yeah, exactly. When, when did Car why did Carmine suddenly become like the good guy in all this? When did she transition from like the from like abusive asshole to like the voice of reason? It's so weird. I want to battle anyway. So let me know once you're ready. I mean, from what I'm told, character development, it is it is interesting. I mean, it's, for what there is, there's character development. Meanwhile, Kieran went from being, like, sympathetic to being kind of a dick. From what I've been told, uh, this doesn't get completely resolved here, and it's probably going to get resolved in the second DLC. Yeah, he's not Wally. Sorry, Michael. Help him get over himself. Alright, I mean... He's got like level 90 Pokemon. You ain't getting anywhere with me. You ready to battle? Well then, let's get started. You push the hair out of his face finally? No. Whoever wins gets to be Ogre Pond's partner. So don't don't you dare hold back. Oh, he's got Shiftry now. I know you're probably a better trainer for Ogre Pond, but I... I... Here's the fake out. Because why not? I can only use that move once. You're not holding back. Thank you. But I won't hold back either. People in this country love their focus sashes. Also, if you can if you can hear it, my uh, my air conditioner is back on, cause uh, it suddenly got hot again. Where I'm living, I don't know why, but it's back up to like 80 degrees for the next day or two. Cause God forbid. Uh oh. Be 80 here on Thursday. What the hell? Can here? It's currently 65 there. Yeah. Hopefully this next week is like it's finally like gonna cool down and stay down. Also, this is definitely the final battle of this main story because he's got six Pokemon.
Sturdy, yep. Oh, thank God, Kieran's as stubborn as I am. He went for the he went for the 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 fifty accuracy move that never hits. This luck isn't on my side, but it doesn't matter. I got this. Once again, no, you don't, boy. He's got he's, he's got berries. He's using strategy. Uh oh. I mean, I'm outlasting him, but he is he's kind of wrecking me here. Slosh. Probably not gonna get too far. Actually, eh. Eh, why not? Let's go for it. I tried an online battle in Cyberstone and got wrecked by a team of Piedmon, Kuzumon, and I think it was Lotus Mom. Wait, Cyberstone does online? I never I, I didn't even know. I don't think I got far enough to activate that. Money out of this. Make it rain. It's not over yet. I I'm tired of losing. Online battles are a panel on the left wall of the Digilab. Uh, man, I really need to go back to that game. That game, that was not a game I was streaming. I never streamed that. That was before I got the uh, capture card.
And done. Figures. I knew I couldn't win. But I just couldn't give up. I'm sorry. Oh, Kiki. I think it's time for you to catch Ogre Pond, Michael. Sorry. Oh, all my Pokemon are fully healed. Okay, uh, that's cool. I don't know what type Ogre Pond is. Seems Ogre Pond wants to test its strength against you. You want to battle Ogre Pond so that you could catch it. Yes. What a PvP guide for Cyber Sleuth and oh my god. Is it complicated? Uh. Oh, okay, so we're not catching this normally. It terrestrialized its mask? So this is what Ogre Pond's really capable of. First, you need Platinum Numemons or something for EXP boost, then you have to send your Digimon down multiple evolution lines to collect the moves you want. Yeah. Go evolving and de-evolving is a huge part of that game. Look at you adapting to Ogre Pond's type. And you could handle this. Ivy Cudgel. Adventuring with you, Grant Ogre Pond Strength. I have to do this four times, probably. Body Aspect. Wellspring Mask Ogre Pond. Wellspring Mask shone brightly. Thing Majora. <laughs> I don't know. I like the multiple phases. Actual almost boss, almost yeah. I f the battle with Kirin was way harder though. <laughs> I was working together to retrieve the masks. Grant Ogre Pond strength. But yeah, this is how it works. I think you get to choose. You get the masks as key items, and depending on which one you equip, it changes. Uh. Ogre Pond's typing and, and ability when it terrestrializes.
Gronk. I gotta say, a Quackle Ball kind of covered for typage on this thing. Wrong move, but whatever. There was a partner from long, long ago, Grant Ogre Pond Strength. Shown brightly, Ogre Pond's speed rose. Hmm. What a tough little cookie. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't have a lot of health. Oh, crap. Well. <laughs> yeah, she's like your new favorite. I really like her. Just a lot of speed, yeah. That's everything Ogre Pond's got. Now's your chance to catch it. Friend Ball. One of the rare Gen 2 balls. I had two of them too, so... I didn't mind using that. This Pokemon's type changes based on the mask it's wearing. It confounds its enemies with nimble movements and kicks. Find the choice of armor. Do you prefer Life Sword or Mugen Cannon? Yeah, uh, hmm. Time to put Chien Pao away. Ogre Pond will be my new legendary for now. Though I don't know, Pheasantipity. Uh, apparently the, the the other three are not considered uh Ogre Pond trusted you with the cornerstone, wellspring, and hearth flame masks. Put the masks in your bag's other items pocket. Yeah, if you don't have any equipped by default, it just uses the teal mask. But if you have the other one equipped, then it doesn't use that. Hey, well done, Michael. That was pretty impressive. I could have done that. Con congratulations. Thanks, Kieran. Yeah. Why... Why can't I be like you, Michael? Ah! <laughs> He's crying. Oh, no. Come on. Ugh, I hate when he gets like that. I make a phone call to Wally here. <sighs> Don't worry about him. He's the one who said the winner gets to become Ogre Pond's partner. Come on, let's head home. Clack, 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 clack. The next day. Hey, Michael. Good morning. Got a message from Carmine. She says she's waiting for you at Loyalty Plaza and that you should hurry up and meet her there. Say, why do you two always use me as your messenger boy, huh? Sorry, random NPC that has no significance to the game. I had no idea Ogre Pond's face was so adorable. I should talk to the care caretaker about whipping up some Ogre Pond souvenirs. You actually got to meet Ogre Pond? That Ogre Mask is going to be real popular at next year's festival. She just doesn't care. I'll take one. Wow. 
What item should I give her? Yeah, and she's female. 70. Level 70. So it's by default, its ability is Defiant. If the Pokemon has any stat lowered by an opposing Pokemon's attack stat will be boosted sharply. User strikes on the Ivy Wrapped Cudgel. This moves type changes upon the mask worn by the user and has a heightened chance of landing a critical hit. It's 100 power and accuracy. Wow. That's pretty damn good. Nature is attack up, defense down, which... Defense down, not great. Attack up is really good for Ogre Pond. Wait, are they... They're not key items. They're other items. Item to be held by Ogre Pond. This carved wooden mask is adorned with crystals that allows Ogre Pond to wield rock type during battle. Water type during battle. Fire type. Okay. So we could change it to a single type. Which is kind of weird. Oh, it actually just changes the cloak. Okay. The next year. <laughs> so apparently, the way these also work is that when you die, when you again, when you uh, not Dynamax, when you Terrastalize, it gives it gives Ogre Pond a different ability each time you you use it like that. Yeah, look, now she has Sturdy instead. So it changes the the base ability, and apparently it changes the the Terrastalize ability. Oh, and it adds a type. It doesn't remove grass. Okay, that's cool. So grass is always going to be there. So it could be grass, water, grass, fire, or grass, rock. And since we don't have grass or rock on my team, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good coverage. And I guess, wait... Moves type changes upon the mask. So, okay, so even though Ivy Cudgel is grass type, as long as I'm wearing this, it will be rock type. That's pretty good. Powers up grass moves. So what I should probably do is get rid of Slam and put, uh, put a different grass move in there if I want to go with a non-grass mask. Uh, half damage. Power whip. Well, power Whip or Wood Hammer both sound like good moves. The problem with Wood ha Power Whip is that's low accuracy. Wood Hammer gives me recoil. So let's just do... Yeah, let's do Wood Hammer. You know me. There we go. Now I got, now I got all that type coverage. There you are. You took your time. You really battled great yesterday, Michael. I guess the Mask Retrieval Squad has completed its mission. Tough Kiki. Though Kiki... Oh, this is tough. Though Kiki... Well, he shut himself in his room ever since he got home yesterday. He won't come out? Yeah. Oh, but you don't need to feel guilty or anything, Michael. It's all started because I said we should keep the whole Ogre Pond thing a secret. And you wouldn't think it, but Kiki's got a bit of an ego, too. He doesn't take losing well. Anyway, how's Ogre Pond doing? I'll be honest, I've grown real fond of Ogre Pond myself. I guess Kiki's rubbed off on me a bit. 
You think we could let me have a battle with Ogre Pond? I knew you'd say yes. You're not one to turn down a good battle. Let me know when you're ready. I'm just gone. <laughs> That's weird. Ogre Palm was like floating, even though I wasn't highlighting it. So you got Ogre Palm on your team. I think its battle style changes depending on its mask, so it's all set and ready to go. Right, let's get to our positions. You made me wake up early for this, you know. You better make it wait my time. No, you asked us to wake. Come, yeah. Yeah, so its ability becomes Embody Aspect when it, whenever it does the, uh, terrestrialization. Yeah, it was her that did that. Now buy some breakfast from McDonald's. You know, I, I thought about... I, I thought... For some reason, McDonald's breakfast got on my mind earlier this evening, and I don't know... I don't know why. It just did. Like, I was like... I kind of feel like I'm in the mood for a hash brown and McDonald's pancakes, which are rubbery. This Pokemon's heart fills with memories, causing the Cornerstone Mask to shine and the Pokemon's defense stat to be boosted. Okay. So, Embody Aspect is just the stat boost that always happens. And it's a... It's just a one-stage up upgrade. That's not really that great, honestly. Also, I just noticed... In-battle-type Grass Rock. Wait. Here, though, it only says it's Rock. That's that's interesting. I, w I wonder if that only, that's an effect of Terrestrialization. They do have good hash browns breakfast burrito. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I think Twitch just shit the bed. Yeah. My my internet did not go down. I think that was all Twitch that that had that that happened with for some reason. I don't know. It was only that was only it was only down for like thirty seconds, thirty seconds to a minute. Uh, it looks like we're back and up and running here. Uh, that sucked. Yeah. Okay. So what happened? Uh, Carmine said something. And I didn't get to see what it was, unfortunately, because I was too focused on the uh, connection. Right, the hash brown part. Yeah, I like their hash browns. I did not know they had breakfast burritos though. Uh, and I remember liking McDonald's pancakes, but thinking back on it, they are very rubbery. <laughs> They're very chewy. I'm not a big pancake person in general. Yeah, we missed some flavor text from, uh... From, uh... Carmine, but other than that, we're good. Again, that wasn't my internet. My internet stayed up the whole time. I think Twitch just had, a, had like, a blip there. McDonald's breakfast is one of the most calorie-dense things on their whole menu. Mmm. Calories for uh, energy, obviously, and nothing more. Oh, uh, that's not good. Oh, because it's more Peko's light, that's why. I was going to say, why is Low Kick doing so little damage? 
And there goes Ogapon. That wasn't bad, though. She took out half of her team. Or oh, was it half? I can't remember. I don't know how many Pokemon she has. About half. She only has five Pokemon. Took out two of them. And damaged a third. It's gonna do double damage. Ugh. Hex does double damage if you have a status effect. Ugh, that critical hit came out of nowhere. I could have sworn it was gonna be a regular hit. Good enough. Aka Berry. Oh, she doesn't have my. Wait, no, Mighty Ina was at the beginning. Did she have Nine Tails the last time we fought her? Actually, powering up my fight, my fire type moves won't do much. Don't you dare. Not on expanding force. Fuck. You never see Disable anymore. Like, no one uses it in the newer games. You're seriously too strong. <laughs> uh, I lost, but I'm also not surprised. You and Ogre Pond really do get along, don't you? It's almost making me jealous. Uh, actually, uh... Sheesh, this is awkward to tell you, but I... Hey there, Michael. This is me, Briar. It seems all student pairs have completed their orienteering as of this morning. The caretaker wanted to have some words, so could you head back to the community center? Message received, loud and clear. Ah, Carmine is with you? Wonderful, that's one less phone call I have to make. You kids never cease to amaze me. It seems you become fast friends the moment you spend even the briefest amount of time together. Well, head on over to the community center. I'll be there with the rest of the students. She's right about it being the briefest of time. We only just became friends and now we... Oh well, let's go see what the nosy old guy wants. I don't really want to, but I guess I can play nice one last time. One of my favorite PvP mods was Spirit Tomb with Spite, Pursuit, Rest, and Sleep Talk. Ugh. 
That's that's a that's a strategic troll move right there. That's honestly quicker than flying back. Ah, Michael. Everybody's here. Well, most of us are, anyway. Now then, the caretaker has some words for us. Let's give him our full attention. Ah, uh, yes, thank you for coming. I've been told that our student pairs have now finished visiting all the signboards in Kitakami. Which means your self-guided tour is at an end. Hear that? We did it! We found them all! I'm the only one, like, not excited about that. That was so much fun! Why, thank you all for saying so, and thanks for taking part. On that note, I've got a little gift for each of you. The Kitakami Mochi set from the Caretaker. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd wrap up the tour this quickly. You're quite the prodigies. Our visitors from Paldea still have heaps of time left to enjoy Kitakami and all it has to offer. Continue to make yourselves at home and explore as you please. However... I'm sorry for springing this on you, but Carmine, Kieran, and I will need to return to Blueberry Academy a little early. Oh no. Anyway. Again, truly sorry, but there's been some developments concerning the Great Crater. I'm afraid we merely must be heading back. So why why is the why the Blueberry Academy the Great Crater's in Paldea? Why why are the Blueberry Academy students heading back because of that? I realize I was here as your chaperone, but you kids have all proven to be very capable. I'm sure you'll be fine without me. <laughs> I'll just leave these kids in a foreign land. To, uh, just manage themselves. Thank you so much for looking after them in my stead. Don't mention it. You can leave these kids to me. Now then, Carmine, I believe you had something you wanted to say? Yes. Unfortunately, my brother's not feeling well, so it's just me here to speak. Anyway, as you all know, this village is where I was born. And I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all. Yikes. It felt like our home was being turned into a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. But then we spent time together, and none of you were the way I imagined you'd be at all. You were all really nice once I actually talked to you. I shouldn't have been so quick to judge people I didn't know anything about. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, I, I had fun. Thank you all so much for visiting our village. Especially you, Michael. I'm glad you came to visit. I mean, it's not like this is goodbye forever. Blueberry Academy has tons of strong trainers. You'd better come visit soon. Oh, I almost forgot. I still need to get packed and everything. This is not goodbye, okay? We're definitely gonna see each other again. Yeah, she almost brushed the, the stupid hair out of her face. <laughs> this looks so weird. That's Carmine for you, I suppose. You never know quite what to expect from her. Each moment spent with you kids is just dazzling. But for an adult like me, <laughs> it's almost blinding. Anyway, that about wraps up this school trip. Let's all give our caretaker a great big thank you. Thank you. I mean, we're going to Blueberry Academy next update, so... <laughs> I'm sure we'll see them again. I need to become... I need to become a lot stronger. Stronger, 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 and stronger, and stronger! <gasps> he did it. Just you wait, Michael.
Wow, literally Phoenix Wright and JoJo style to be continued right there. Cool. Not getting good vibes here, yeah. There's some there's some speculation on what might have happened to him. Yeah, come back next DLC. I mean, the thing is you can only you can only get this as a pack, so it's not like you can't play the second one. If you're playing this, you have the second one once it's out. It's so nice to see a friend ball there. Shoot, I I don't want to because it impossibly involves spoilers for the second uh the second DLC. Regarding either a new or returning Pokemon that might be involved in this somehow. I don't know which one. I actually don't know. Like, I didn't read the whole thing. Uh, so now what? Form is excellent defenses, absorbing impacts solidly like the cornerstones that support houses. This form is most aggressive, bombarding enemies with the intensity of flames blazing within a hearth. This form excels in both attack and defense. It ceaselessly unleashes moves like a spring that gushes water. Cool. Okay, now how do we catch these three? Also, what's 196? Oh, actually, I think I know what 196 might be. really just like where things stop because <laughs> there's quite a few things left to do here that I haven't touched yet so sad the karma I had to go back to blueberry Academy when it mock punch speed seeing all the signboards the morning of her departure. Oh here we go. Those two gone, the whole house feels so quiet. Wonder when they'll be wonder when they'll be back next. I was cleaning up one of the warehouses when I found these. Not sure what to do with them. You think you could take them off my hands? Festival Jean Bay White and Gray, Festival Jean Bay Deep Blue. Neither Carmine nor Kieran fit this size anymore. And the colors match my grandkids' Jean Bay, but don't worry, these aren't hand me downs. They're practically brand new. Kids, they grow up so fast. Hee <laughs> hee. Cool. Jean Bay. Nice. Deep Blue. Well, that's pretty good. White and Gray? I, I like it. I kind of... I don't know. I'll keep the blue on. I just like not having to wear, uh, not having to wear, uh, the school uniform, because I would be very uncomfortable in a button-down shirt in most situations. <laughs> okay, uh, this is all well and good, but where do we go from here? There's no, uh... There's no, like, objective. We still have to do the, the photo quest. Yeah, the, the side quest. We could do that. We also have to do the thing with uh, the people from the realty, which I kind of want to do that first, because it's... I don't know how long it is. I'm still going to go for about another hour tonight if I can.
Nothing new from any of these. I do the other stages of uh of uh this game too at some point. The We Love Loyalty Plaza Drive. Hello, Michael. We're very grateful for everything you did to help clear up that horrible confusion over dear Ogre Pond. Never dreamt that the loyal three were in the wrong and that the poor Ogre Pond was the victim. Why we had gone on passing down the wrong story without a second thought. All that being said, while I do fully understand the Loyal Three were villains, you've seen the state of Loyalty Plaza, yes? Statues are ruined, shattered to pieces when the Three were resurrected. Doesn't it pain your heart to see it so? Yeah, sure. And only two, right? I knew a student of a fine academy like yours must appreciate the significance of such a sight. Yes, the actual Loyal Three were in the wrong, but the monument brought to so many tor- or I mean, it brought so much comfort and hope to the people of our village for generations. Which is why I have begun a fundraiser to restore the beloved site to its former state, and I'm calling it the We Love Loyalty Plaza Drive. We're looking for donations of 10,000, with the ultimate goal being gathering 1 million. Okay, well, there goes all my money. But be that as may, I couldn't possibly ask for that kind of money from a student such as yourself. No, I got it. I got you, fam. Perhaps you could suddenly nudge your parents or teachers to contribute to our cause. Like the total of zero so far. Here, here's a hundred thousand. Goodness me, you really wish to give us an entire hundred thousand at once? Well, I accept your kind support with gratitude. And here, a little something for you in return. Pretty feathers. Literally just sell those. Alright, well, let's see if dear old mum will give us anything. The Dragonite with the, uh, plane. Can I just give you a third option for the full amount? I think they didn't anticipate anyone would have that much. Say like trying to nudge my parents and teachers, right? <laughs> oh, she ain't giving me shit. Really? They're not going to call flying taxi because I'm indoors? figure out where the two people from the realty went because it said they were at the waterfall in the north province's area two which is right here but i went to this waterfall and they weren't there area one maybe there's somewhere else around there and we're gonna see if we can get something out of uh
Oh god, you have to fight, find them like several times. Well, I can break school policy now by not wearing my uniform. I hate to say this, but I don't think any of the teachers are not are are you know given anything to me here. I still haven't gotten Saguaro's the only person I haven't fully formed a friendship with because uh again he wants an Herba Mystica and I don't have one. Even even the artists, no. It doesn't look like any of these guys care. some food. You know, I think a tablespoon means different amounts to different people. No, it doesn't. You're just doing it wrong. Anyway, with uh, with Sonic uh, Frontiers uh, thoroughly pushed into the maybe when I give a shit, I'll do it category because of how annoying its DLC is, uh, I'm thinking that Justice for All will be the next stream. And given the clip I'm moving at, it, that might be this week, actually. Obviously, still doing great thanks to the hard work you and me put in, of course. Okay. Okay, so nothing happening there. However, I will, uh, finally address this. According to this, they should be near the falls. They're just not in front of it. Does it really put me right in front of the, the cave? Okay. That's annoying. That's where I got the shiny sable eye the other day. There they are. They were right there the whole time. So this is one of the ten sites of Paldea that I've heard so much about. You are correct, my dearest owner. These are the Fury Falls. I had expected something a bit more grandiose. I can really feel the positive energy, though. Dullness notwithstanding. As positive as ever, my dearest owner. Not only can I feel the positive energy flowing, I dare say there's glitterati energy in the air as well. Truly, your glitterati aura fills the air with a sense of rejuvenation. I don't know what that noise he's trying to make is. Thank you for speaking the truth as always, Billy. Hold on, isn't that our dear commoner, the one from before? Your eyes do not deceive you, that isn't indeed our dear commoner, the one from before. Could it be fate, coincidence, or maybe you've been drawn here by our glitterati energy? Oh, indeed, indeed. It's our duty as Glitterati to make the dreams of the common folk a reality. Or more specifically, to give them fine items. Obtained 15 big pearls. Wow. Now do pay attention, dear commoner. Money isn't too dissimilar from positive energy. 
When you're surrounded by it, it may bring you calm and stability. But you'll never know for sure whether the happiness you feel is true or not. Oh, now, please, such pearls of wisdom are too profound for a mere child. Come, Billy, I want to go someplace more remote. A place that's not famous or renowned or anything. <laughs> We've been to so many landmarks, she's tired of it. You really are an exemplary glitterati, dearest O'Nair. I know, just the place. It's by the border between South Province and Area 1 and 5. Apparently the rumor was that these people were Nimona's parents, but obviously no. <laughs> Nimona's parents are technology developers. South Province is Area 1 and 5. So, like, literally somewhere right here. This area is pretty remote, too, because you need to swim over here to get to here initially. Hey, they're just giving me free shit, so I'm not turning them down. I don't remember what they gave me the first time. Oh god, it's raining. I'm gonna f slip off the, the wall. Oh, such joy. What an utterly dull place. Not a thing worth seeing. It's just what I wanted. Thank you, Billy. Wonderful. Nothing brings me more joy than making you happy, dearest Donaire. Perhaps I should buy up all the land in this and start some kind of business here. Oh, why, if it isn't our dear commoner. Your eyes do not deceive you. That is indeed our dear commoner. You have a way of drawing people to you with your charming personality, dearest Donaire. <laughs> I won't say you're wrong. It's our duty- yeah, make it common folk, okay. Give them fine items. Fifteen nuggets! Oh my god! No one- okay, I think this is tied to the- the shrine resurrection thing. Cause they're just- they're just forking over money here. You would do well to search for riches in areas where there appears to be nothing of value at all. Possibilities are as vast as the ocean, no matter where you go. Striking. Your words are as pickaxe to rock, losing nu loosing nuggets of wisdom from common stone. Come now, Billy. I have a major craving for fruit that only the land of Kitakami can provide. <laughs> no sooner did we depart, shall we return. You really are an exemplary glitterati, my dearest Donaire. Those Kitakami apples make the best apple juice, you know. I'll whip up some for you. Imagine going all the way to another land just for some apples. Especially when Apple and, and Appleton are in this this in Paldea. That's a lot of them. I mean, I guess Loyalty Plaza is where we need to go.
This may seem quaint, but... Look, Billy, what a wonderful little garden. This is where I met you before. Though it may look like a small garden to you, dearest O'Neill, it is in fact a full orchard. Come now, this is an orchard? You must be joking. I've never seen one so... humble. Thank you for the correction, Billy. No trouble at all, the ways of commoners are shrouded in mystery. Ah, commoners, such compelling creatures. They always manage to get my heart racing. Speaking of commoners, isn't that the one we keep running into? You're right, your eyes do not deceive you. It is the commoner we keep running into. Commoner, I wish to know more about you, to become more familiar with you. With that in mind, would you do me the honor of having another duel? There it is, O'Neill's favorite pastime, getting to know others do battle. <laughs> oh, do let me know when you're ready to duel, dear commoner. Yeah, we're ready to throw down. Give me 20 nuggets this time. A duel with yours truly. Do you accept? I, O'Neill, the president of Paldea Realty, will crush you, commoner. Go get him, no air, O'Neill. No air? The fuck? No hair. Nair of the Glitterati. Once again, she only has the one, uh, one Pokemon, which I took out in one hit. Confound it. I guess this makes me a loserati. She does give you a lot of money for beating her. I lost again. Just what kind of commoner are you, really? Say, Billy, do all commoners have Pokemon this strong, or is this one special? Oh, no, that commoner must have something only a select few commoners possess. I believe they call it Gumption. Gumption? Oh, oh yes, I've heard of this. Yes, commoners say it's one thing no Glitterati could ever possess. However, Billy, I do believe the word is gumption. A commoner with gumption. Brilliant. As eye-catching as a pearl string. It's no wonder I couldn't best you. Speaking of pearls, I'd quite like to spend some time by the waterside. Come, Billy, let us make our way to the biggest body of water in all of Paldea this instant. Your curiosity could be piqued at a moment's notice. You really are an exemplary glitterati, dearest O'Neir. Nothing washes away the weariness of battle like a little R&R &R on an island shore. I think this is the last time I need to switch maps to encounter them. Go back up. Why does it tell me to go back up? I wonder if there's going to be fly spots in Blueberry Academy. Kind of sounds like that wouldn't make any sense. Since it's a an underwater area. This is where I caught my shiny Gumi after I'd finished streaming the game. Poor move on my part. A dragon air over there. I got a. Uh, I got Gyarados jump scared.
I like that it pulls out its little little hammer when you actually use it not terrestrialized. Look at that slowdown. May look like a puddle, but look, Billy, look at this puddle. This is no puddle, my dear Stone Air. This is la the famed Casa Royale Lake, the largest lake in Paldea. You're telling me this is a lake? Surely it can't be more than a pond. Say, Billy, what's the difference between a lake and a pond, anyway? I'm not sure, dearest O'Neir. We glitterati don't tend to clutter our heads with such trivial common knowledge. Mm, why, it's the commoner we always see around. You're right, your eyes do not deceive you. It is the commoner we always see around. While we have you, dear commoner, do tell. What exactly is the difference between a pond and a lake? Uh, their size? Uh, of course, most impressive. You're as well-versed in common knowledge as I'd hoped. It's our duty as glitterati to return the kindness we are given. Or well, more specifically, to return that kindness with fine items. Pearl strings, nice. Now do pay attention, dear commoner. Happiness is like a body of water. It can be a puddle, a pond, or even a lake. It all depends on how you think about it. That's my dearest O'Neir, taking the knowledge someone just taught you and putting it on display right in front of them. Come on now, Billy. I'd like to scale a lofty mountain with pure white snow. As pure and lofty as the ideals of our company. <laughs> That's true that Paldea Realty has the purest, loftiest ideas. Dear Stoner, you are truly an exemplary glitterati. Now let's go enjoy some gelato while watching ice Pokemon frolic atop a snowy mountain. From what I can see, there's two more encounters left. Which means the free item train is, uh, is about to dry up. Oh, and I put Shen Pao back in his proper, uh, spot. I have a new tip to share with you. If you press the left stick, any of your Pokemon you've let our Pokeballs will stay put and wait for your signal. It's a handy trick for setting up the perfect Pokemon photo op. Yeah. That's a, that's a new thing that came up in this update. I got a new item somewhere. What is it? Oh, clever mochi. Yeah, it's just it's just the uh, feathers, but different. Oh, I'm gonna have so much shit to sell. I thought you could fly to the top of the mountain. Oh, it's that mountain I'm thinking about. Thinking about those mountains. I think they're like over here. Apparently. I guess they're really supposed to just be in like completely random spots that are di somewhat difficult to find. Because they give you so much for finding them. Whoa! Did you see that? You saw like the, the like... Like the wireframe underneath the land. That was weird.
world of silvery right as far as the, uh, far as the eye could see. Truly a view worthy of a glitterati. Sure is, and the cold is no match for these clothes you prepared for us, my dearest Onair. Of course, they're made from the highest quality materials by the highest quality brand, after all. I feel sorry for people who climb this mountain and anything less. Hmm, can it be, as our dearest commoner returned to us once more? You're right, your eyes do not deceive you. Our dearest commoner has returned to us once more. Look, dearest Onair, look how thin the material on our dearest commoner's clothes is. Oh my, that's awfully flimsy, isn't it? Say, Billy, do you suppose commoners have an easier time dealing with the cold? I'm not sure, but I've heard commoners say that we glitterati line our pockets with money. Perhaps that means the high quality of our clothing is unusual to them. If all commoners dress like our dearest one here, then they simply must be used to the cold. Billy, you're... You're a true erudite. This I shall grant you the Gold Onair Award. Yes! It's our duty as glitterati to lend a hand to the struggling common folk. In that spirit, I grant you these fine items. Hang in there and tough out the cold. Ten big nuggets. Nice. Now you listen carefully, dear commoner. You may have heard the saying, cold hands, warm heart. Don't be fooled. It's a load of hogwash. You must never, ever forget that. My dearest Onair, your aphorisms are becoming more off the cuff by the day. Come now, Billy. It's about time a reprieve came to a close. I want to finish it with a look down at the mo centermost point of Paldea. <laughs> Even the most extraordinary places are only worthy of being looked upon down upon by you. You really are an exemplary glitterati, Onair. We probably can't get into the Great Crater, but let's make a request to the League, just in case. Apparently they are not in the Great Crater, they are just kind of outside of it. Like, right over here, apparently. This may be the final one, like the final time we have to do anything with them. Assuming the players use the amulet coins in all three battles against Onair, so there's going to be another battle with her, the total amount of money they can earn from the Glitterati is 1,074,784, so just over the amount it takes to restore the shrine. Billy and Onair's models are based on the black belt and model respectively, but with a different color scheme and heads. Close that? Thank you. See, so yeah, this was worth doing. It's essentially bankrolling that whole, uh... Whoa. There's a lot of wild Pokemon. Essentially bankrolling that entire, uh... Shrine re reconstruction. Isn't that rare? I don't show up in specific spots, though. Is there an item I never got up there? Huh. Paralyze heal. I wonder what's going to be added to the Great Crater in the next update. 
since they the, they said the DLC literally ends with you going back to the to Area Zero, so there must be something new they're gonna add there. Absolute fear. Something fucked up, maybe. Who knows? I said they were going to be down here. Alright. I have to look it up again. Paldea. Counter 7 is like right... Like right here. Down there, though. No, I gotta look this up. I gotta, I gotta see exactly where they are. At South Province, Area 3. And that's it. At the southern edge of the Great Crater of Paldea. Not exactly where it shows. It's like right around here. Twenty years later. Tree Pell still worked, or they, and then they would just let me like phase through Pokemon instead of having to fight them. Oh, Hariyama. <sighs> Insta kill? No. <laughs> Or 
I fought Sharkadet before. What the? Hey. The hell are they? I'm so confused. All right. There should be some quality of life thing happening, but nah. Well, I'm, I don't know. Oh, apparent. Okay, so the map is wrong. I check because I was checking Bulbapedia. Apparently, they're just up on. They're up on the crater edge. They're up here. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Bulbapedia editors. They're somewhere up here because they're like literally looking down into area zero. So near. <laughs> that is not smart, just saying. Yeah, it's fine. The guys pick you up if you fall down there. It's really funny that they're like, it's a forbidden area. I mean, you know, you could call taxis down there. So this is the very center of Paldea. What an enormous crater. That's exactly right, dear Stonair. This right here is the great crater of Paldea. It seems we have a new adventure to quench my wanderlust, Billy. Come, let's begin our descent. We mustn't, dear Stonair. Entering the crater is strictly forbidden. I petitioned the League for access, but to no avail. I beg your pardon? They won't even let a Glitterati enter? They won't even let a Glitterati enter. <gasps> but this was to be the conclusion to our retreat. We've been as good as gold and better. Did you see the frame board? Yeah, whenever the, whenever the camera changes during a cutscene, for some reason, the screen compresses slightly to the left, and you can see, like, a white border. It's, it's really weird. Never imagined there'd be something in the world as off-limits to the Glitterati. What's a commoner who can't seem to get enough of us? You're right, your eyes do not deceive you. It's that commoner who can't get enough of us. Say, dear commoner, have you entered this crater before, perchance? I have. Rags to riches, the commoners had the fortune to enter the crater, but the Glitterati have not. Well then, it seems we have no choice but to duel, again. There it is, O'Neill's favorite pastime, challenging others to a duel like a thunderbolt from the blue. But this really isn't the place for a battle. Let's head back down. Oh, do inform me when you're ready to duel, commoner. One last duel. What do you say? I, O'Neir, the president of Paldea Realty, will crush you, commoner. Her voice just changed there for me. I don't know why. Oh, 
Oh good, you did the work for me. Thank you. I don't have to use grassy terrain myself now. And done. Oh, I've been absolutely trounced. You know, I've had time to calm down, and I think I finally get it now. Literati, commoners, in the end, we're all just people. There's nothing separating us. Why did it take me so long to realize something so simple? I'm so embarrassed. I wish I could crawl under a rock and hide. I couldn't literally crawl under a rock, of course, but you know what I mean. Oh, oh, nair. You were following around just to teach us that, weren't you? Yeah, sure. Just give me more money, please. As expected, I'm not sure why I even asked. I can't express my appreciation enough, but I hope these fine items can suffice. 25 big nuggets! You received the Glitterati case. Now then, Billy, I feel as though I've grown as a person during this trip. Starting tomorrow, I'm turning over a new leaf. I'll resume my work as CEO, holding nothing back. <laughs> Learning from your failures like a pro, you really are an exemplary Glitterati. Since you've taught us a little something, I'll teach you a little something. Oh, that's Billy. You learned the oh no emote from Billy. Right then. Adios. And they're gone. Quest complete. So that puts us at, uh. Yeah, 35 big nuggets, 15 nuggets, 15 big pearls, 10 pearl strings. Bootleg Gucci, yeah. Fresh start mochi. A mochi with berries kneaded into its dough will, it causes a Pokemon to lose all its base points. So that's a that's an EV restarter. That's cool. A very a very potent EV restarter. The oh no, it's the Kevin McAllister face. A Pokemon over there. Literati case. Of course, it, it makes everything gold on the screen. I don't know why I didn't think it wouldn't. Not terrible. Now where's the silver? <laughs> uh, not happening. Anyway, time to bankrupt that old lady by selling her all this all this crap. Nine hundred and forty thousand.
Yeah, all right. Well, I could definitely afford to rebuild the shrine now. <laughs> Ten pretty feathers, yeah. It ain't worth it. I just wanted some JoJo's, yeah. <laughs> Alright, five more. Almost there. This is incredibly tedious. I'm still ending out on top, too. I have over 200... I have 2 million now, still. JoJo and those cheese taquitos. I got those new uh, chicken, like, griller wrap things from Taco Bell today. They were pretty good. Donation. Oh, oh my. We reached our goal of one million. Now we can at last restore Loyalty Plaza to the way it was. Let me call our contractor at once. Hello, yes, it's me again. We were able to raise funds for the project. I had the Mexican pizza to say. I can see why people like it. They have a new jalapeno one now. I don't like it because there's too much bean paste in it. I liked it back in the day, but now it's just like, eh, too beanie. We'd love to see work get started at once. They say they're already done. Why don't we head over to see the fruits of your labor? Beans are part of diet in so many levels. Yeah, but I don't like when they put that bean. It's like paste bean. It's not bean. It's like that like mushy bean like mix. It's just very dry and gritty. I'm not a fan of it. Oh, would you just look? Thanks to our We Love Loyalty Plaza drive, the old monument has been reborn. Goodness, did they ever do a fine job? It's hard to believe it's not the exact same monument. We even recreated the scratches and blemishes it had before. <laughs> now that is true craftsmanship and dedication for you. This is just what the village needed. Yes, just what we needed to draw in more tourists who want to take photos here. We'll be topping the tourism charts in no time. Hooray, hooray! Come on, all together now. You learn the hooray emote from the caretaker. I also have a special gift for you, Michael, for being our number one supporter. You mean your only supporter. Festival Jean Bay Flashy, ooh. We had a bit left over from the fundraiser, so I went ahead and glammed that up for you. Wear it out and about to advertise the wonders of Kitakami to all your friends in Paldea. This guy, yeah. This fucking guy. That's fine and all, but where do I actually find the three dudes to catch them? <laughs> Hooray! That's eh, not bad. <laughs> so, oh, how janky it is. 
Fla Festival Jinbei Flashy. Oh, it's shiny. Eh, why not? Proof that I'm a big, a high roller. It's it, it looks like... Looks like it's a different material. Okay, with that done, uh, there's only a couple things left to do. Do the rest of the ogre ousting courses. Uh, finish exploring this, this chunk, this, like, quarter of the map that's left. And start the photo quest, which I think we'll, we'll start doing. I mean, I'm gonna stop in, like, 20 minutes. I'm probably gonna go up to four tonight. Which is not going to be a three-hour stream, but whatever. It's close enough. Well, we have to head towards Timeless Woods anyway, so... Hey, kiddo! Oh, hey, kiddo. Wait, don't tell me. You actually caught over 150 Pokemon from the Kitakami Pokedex? Now I know you're the real deal. That's right. Pretty impressive. You must be something special, kiddo. You probably know about more about the Pokemon here in Kitakami than I do. And I got here first. Which reminds me. I got a favor to ask you. A real Pokemon catching pro like you is just what I need. Kind of fa- uh, Not interested. Oh, did I tickle your curiosity? Glad you don't seem to afraid to be don't seem afraid to poke your head into new things. In that case, let me tell you what I'm all about. The reasons I came to Kitakami was actually to find a certain Pokemon and photograph it. I've been searching on my own for ages, but I still haven't found it. So, kiddo, how about doing me a solid by helping him out with my search? I know you forever. Rumor has it the Pokemon I'm looking for is pretty ferociously strong. Just think you could catch it and bring it along on your adventures. Wouldn't that be helpful? that enough to pique your interest? If so, I'll need you to prove you're strong enough to help. We're really gonna partner up on this thing, then I want you to know you're cut out for it. That, and I want to get a good shot of you looking all heroic and everything. You're Growlithe. It looks sick. Okay, kiddo, time for me to take the perfect shot. And your confidence, that is. Ready to show me what you've got? Yes, then let's just put a bit of distance between us. Enough to keep my shots in focus. I'm not so strong, but don't hold back. And don't mind me snapping a few shots while we're at it. Heron the Photographer. Give me a nice heroic expression, would you? I'll take a real good shot if you do. Get cudged. Nice moves, kiddo. Glad to see you're not distracted by the camera. Shot me wheeling on you. Yeah. Leafy on. How about a new challenger? This one won't be easy to beat. Good. We're fine. Now that's a keeper. You're something, all right. Got a bunch of good shots of you in action, too. 
I think you might just have what it takes to hold your own against the Blood Moon Beast. The Blood Moon Beast? Yes, there's a certain Ursa Luna I've been searching for. It's known as the Blood Moon Beast. Have you ever heard of Ursa Luna? Word is they weren't all that uncommon a long, long time ago. See, Ursa Luna is a Pokemon that has this really big yellow mark on its forehead, resembling a full moon. But they say this one's mark is red. A red moon, as if seen through a veil of blood. That's why they call it the Blood Moon Beast. I like how they have to get violent. Yeah. This Ursa Luna, the Blood Moon Beast, used to live in my homeland way back when people still called the region Hisui. Seemed like it crossed over the waters here to Kitakami at some point and made itself comfy. If the two of us work together, I bet we could be the ones to finally find and snap a shot of it. And if we do... Kiddo? No, not kiddo. Partner. Let's tackle this together so we could find the Blood Moon Beast for sure. Let's do it. Hell yeah. I knew you'd be up for it, and don't worry, I'll be sure to reward you for your hard work. Word has it that the Blood Moon Beast has been seen in an area northeast of Oni Mountain called the Timeless Woods. I'll head that way now and wait for you there. Come on, Growlithe. She didn't use that Growlithe in the fight. Meet Perrin in Timeless Woods. Okay. We're probably not going to get to that point tonight. Because I do want to explore the areas leading up to it. The actual way to get in there is through the wilds. But what I might do is... uh. Yeah, why not? Let's let's ex start exploring this area right here. And that'll be how we wrap up tonight. Oh, I thought uh, Okie Dogie would be around here. I wonder. Oh, it is. You could just, you could just go up to them. All right. Well, that makes. It's weird that they don't even say like, "Go, go and catch him." Not very effective. Not very effective. Not very effective. Cool. What's this music? It's just their theme. Let's play before when I was fighting them. It's pretty good. knock it out if I do close combat. Yeah, I'll get knocked down to 60. Start chucking balls. I 
don't have anything that can paralyze, unfortunately. Should almost be at the point where timer balls are going to be better than ultra balls, though. Because as of, like, I think Gen 6 or Gen 7, timer balls only take 10 turns to reach maximum effectiveness. And it is more effective than an ultra ball. Oh! Critical capture, nice. After all its muscles were stimulated by the toxic chain around its neck, Okidoki transformed and gained a powerful physique. Retainer Pokemon. The rumor people are spreading is that these these three Pokemon are all actual other Pokemon that have been like turned into those via their toxic chains. But there's arguments over which ones which ones are which. Alright, I'll well, forget exploring the wilds. I'm just gonna try to get the other two. <laughs> we'll we'll start the Hisui side quest tomorrow. And maybe finish it, I don't know. After that, I think the only thing left to do is finish the Pokedex, and then we're done with this uh expansion until the second one comes out. Mewtwo King really is streaming F099 now. Oh, nice. If I start at a decent time tomorrow... Uh... So he does play it, yeah. Well, I mean, I didn't imagine he didn't. So all 90 of my rear bones. <laughs> or my pretty feathers. Uh, let's stock up on Ultra Balls here. And also, uh, we're gonna need more Timer Balls. Yeah, speaking of F-099, I think, um, next time I stream, if I could start before midnight, I will, uh, start with F-0 and try to do Queen League.
And unneeded. Got him. Easy. Chain is made from toxins that enhance capabilities. It stimulated Monkey Dory's brain and caused the Pokemon's psychic powers to bloom. Where do these toxic chains came from? It has to be him. I beat him in a Grand Prix. Oh. Maybe. I mean, it could be someone just using his name. But at the same time, I don't think anyone really... I don't know. Impersonate him? I mean, I'm sure you beat him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt that for a second. doing? I need to pull up the regular menu. Oh my god. There we go. He's level 99. Wow. Fezzendipity is here. It's probably on the other side of the mountain path where we fought it then. Turn one roost. Yep, CPUs are great. Okay, so that's turn. This is turn three. Turn four. Takes care of that. Fezzendivity owes its beautiful looks and lovely voice to the toxic stimulants emanating from the chain wrapped around its body. Another retain they're all retainer Pokemon. There we go. I'm guessing Ursaluna is the uh I'm guessing Ursaluna is the Blood Moon Ursaluna is 196. Because it matches up with Basque Legion being there. 
What does that leave, really? Uh, whatever comes between these two. Uh, Gliscor Gliscower. Uh, Snorlax, I need. More Pekko. Where is more Pekko found? Probably in the woods. No. Habitat unknown. Okay. Hmm. Conkledur. Golem, so the trade ones I need. Uh, Politoed, another trade one. There's two, another line here that I don't have yet. I mean, again, there's still two whole areas I haven't really explored here, so... There's still quite a few left. Thirteen I have to capture, though. To finish this. Out there and uh, keep those three right there. I have the Mew from before that they were given out. Also, here's my Iron Leaves and Walking Wake that I got. So apparently, so the way it's gonna work is that there's the I think all three of them for both trios are gonna have one, but I think. Only one of them show up in the next DLC? I'm not sure. And then the other ones show up at some other point. I mean, these were event only. I thought they were going to add one of these with each DLC. Maybe they do. Maybe they're both in this game. In this thing. I just haven't encountered them yet. There's that other Coridon. So, the thing I hate about this game and how it handles Coridon. Like, yeah, you get you get the Coridon that you could ride. And you can make that a party member. And then you also catch this Coridon that you can then trade. But the problem is, if you trade this Coridon, then you still... For Maridon then you still only have the one legendary, because the Coridon that you ride around, you can still make it, a, you can still make it a, uh, yeah, change it to its battle form. But the thing is, even when it's in its battle form, you can't trade it. It's permanently, like, attached to you. I don't think you can even put it in the PC if you want to. Or you can, it just doesn't let you trade it. It's, it's weird. So I don't have, I had a Maridon at one point, someone, tr someone traded it for that spare Coridon, but then... I don't know. And then it went away. Alright. So... I guess barring anything else, here's where we currently stand here. Uh, in the place where we are. So we gotta, we gotta explore Kitakami Wilds, both here and this spot here counts as Kitakami Wilds too. Essentially all this green, green, is Kitakami Wilds. We gotta explore all that. We gotta explore the Timeless Woods. We gotta do the mission in the Timeless Woods, which starts right there. Uh, then we gotta catch the remaining Pokemon, which is 13 of them. Uh, and then other than that, I think it's just doing the other stages for Ogre ousting. And that's, that's kinda it. And then we're done till, uh, the second DLC. So, I don't know, we might be able to do this in one more stream. We might not. We'll see. If I'm here early enough tomorrow, we'll probably get a, a, a head, a, like, a head up on it. Uh, also, again, I wanna try to see if I could do F-099 at some point tomorrow or Thursday and do the Queen League. So uh we'll see we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna be wrapping it up for tonight. Let me just heal my Pokemon and save. Yeah, thank you, thank you for coming. Watch more streams, uh check out my Twitch page, my suggested streamers. There's plenty of people there right now. Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know who's streaming right now. That's a lie, because I didn't check. It's just to force a habit. Uh. Eh. Yeah. I think we should be fine here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming, as always. I always appreciate it. You know I do. Uh, I'm hopefully gonna be here tomorrow and Thursday, but I think I may have to take one of the two days off. I'm not sure. Friday and Saturday, though, I'm probably almost certainly not going to be here. Let's complete the Kitakami Pokedex. Keep on checking those Pokemon habitats in your Pokedex. Trying out raids in Crystal Caverns. Have a complete in no time. I'm gonna pretty much just say, like, yeah, just complete raids. 
They're random. You can find whatever you want there. And saved. All right. We're good. Until next time, thank you for coming. Have a great evening, and I'll see you later. Good night.